Hey there! Pen meetings, pen shows, but pen meetings are très dangereux uh, parce que uh, you see pens that you wouldn't otherwise see and uh, then sometimes you find out that you kind of want one of those pens and my friend Wacko Jacko has an excellent taste in pens and he at some point had an Ebonite Delta Roma Imperiale. I was uh, then sort of scouring online for one and I found one. It is a Roma Imperiale but it was a... it is the Roma Imperiale Demo which was exclusive to Airline International but I love it. So it is not celluloid. It does have a celluloid section under this, what I'm assuming is acrylic material. So there is actually ebonite under that. You can't see that very well, but there is ebonite under it. I had managed to stain it with ink. That was entirely my fault, not the pen's fault. I don't really care either. This is a big pen. Okay, so here we have a Leonardo Momento Zero. Here we have the Roma Imperiale. It is massive. I love it. It's huge. It's a piston-filled pen. It has a number eight nib. It has a, an ebonite feed. Not everybody likes this section because it's quite bulbous. I love it. I find it very comfortable. It's a fine nib, making it very good for everyday writing. <laughs> it even posts and then it becomes really quite scary. It's beautiful. The Roman Empire, right? Grand, glorious. Of course, there was some slavery, there was murder and pillage, but who cares, right? The Roman Empire. So, a big pen to commemorate that. Beautiful uh, gold trim. I think it may actually be for May trim because it, it does patina so I don't think this is uh, pure gold. I love this pen. This is not a pen that I have inked up necessarily every week but every time I ink it up again I think why do I ink this up all the time? The one issue with this is of course it's huge and uh, I know this very well if you have something that's huge it doesn't always easily fit into things. So this pen uh, is not an easy one to carry around in pen pouches, etc., because it simply won't fit so well. That's the issue. So taking it to work, etc., may be a little tough. I do have a single pen pouch, a sleeve in which it fits very well, but it's big, you have to carry it around. It's not really a portable pen. This is not something I use at work, this is something I kind of use at home. If I want to write a longer letter, I find it very comfortable for these kinds of things, because it's big, it's relaxed, I, I really like that. If you consider getting one, bear in mind they are big and if you don't like bulky sections don't bother because again uh, this is big and it's very bulbous. Tom Westrich sometimes sells these on penboard.de and then he often uh, turns the section into an hourglass shape on a lathe I think he does that and a lot of people apparently find that more comfortable and I can see why but for me it's not an issue I love this beautiful pen large pen and it's it's polished so clearly, it just looks beautiful. Some people hate demonstrators, clear pens, I know that. I love it. You can see the ink level uh, very well. Uh, I, I, I really, really like it. This is probably one of my favorite pens. So thank you, Wacko Jacko, for making me spend money once more. But this is what you do. So there you have it. Let's just uh, uh, cut the chatter and just see how the pen writes. Ah, yes. The Roma Imperiale. It... Uh, it really is a big pen, huh? But it's beautiful and I, I, I really love it uh, dearly. So, here we go. Delta Roma Imperiale, the demo. The nib is an 18K, what's it, or, now I'm confused all of a sudden. No, 14K, fine. And the ink is just uh, Ackermann Delft Blau, which is probably my favorite washable blue. Has a super light, almost purplish tint to it, but it's a very, very classic blue. This reminds me of what we used to write with in primary school. Okay, so a fine nib, but a pleasant nib. Number eight, ebonite feed, big pen. I find it comfortable, but this section really isn't for everyone. It's really quite bulbous and it's very thick. I can't put my fingers together holding this pen, so it's, it's a big pen. Having said that, 
a lovely writer. This is a slightly drier ink. Um, usually I have waterman blue in it and that's a very pleasant um, somewhat wetter ink so then it, it writes a little bit less less dryly because I'm sure if I do this dryness test here yeah well yeah okay not terrible but but it, it, it can be a bit wetter than it is with this still I love it the weird thing is that it posts <laughs> it's a really massive piece uh, but I I, yeah, I I love this pen. I absolutely love it. It's it's again. It's not for everyone. It is very much oversized, but I I think it is fantastic. So all I can say is, uh, Senatus Populusque Romanum. It's there, man. It's great, and I love it. So there you have it, my Roma Imperiale. I hope this was useful, and uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye.